gotta caress the fire. All right, Emilio, hit me with a question. All right, so first question is by Doug K. Um, he's saying it's a wonderful time of the year again. What is the best and safest way to remove love bugs without damaging the paint? How to remove love bugs without damaging paint. Ironically, the answer is cleanse them with fire. What else you got? Wait, what? Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, really. Keep them coming. <laughs> wow, okay. So, Joel D is asking, is your future so bright you gotta wear shades indoors? Absolutely, the fire is warm. Give me the next one. <laughs> You're kidding, right? All right, so headlights. We got a new trunk. When can I put the headlights on the trunk? and keep them without yellowing over time. Fire, if you actually heat them with fire, they will be fine. You can't be serious. Brad E is asking, water quality, uh, when detailing at home, should I use softener uh, to install or just hit Hot it with water, heat it with fire and it works much better. Easier to let it burn. And it works much better, what else? Um, serious question by Kyler G, he's asking, where do we get our shirts from? Let me guess. They're fire. I guess we all should have seen that coming. That's about it. All right, guys. Have a good one. <laughs> and now for something completely different. Okay, so seriously, the first question was, what do you do about love bugs, right? So here's the answer to love bugs. First off, I think the value that I can give you is really in what not to do. A lot of people like the whole, oh, you take dryer sheets and you wet your automobile and then you wipe dryer sheets on them. This is a terrible idea. Gonna have a bad time. If you ever feel a piece of 5,000 grit sandpaper, it is way softer than a dryer sheet. Dryer sheets, you're basically sanding your car. Don't do that. Yikes! It's really simple. You gotta hit them early and often. In Florida, we get three periods of love bugs. When they're on your car, you just gotta take them off. Here's a quick tip. Water has no lubricating value at all. So don't just wet a rag. Take a microfiber towel, take a little bit of soap. You can use any kind of soap. Get it sudsy a little bit and just wipe them right off. You'll be fine. What was the second one? So second is, is your future so bright you gotta wear shades inside? Yes, absolutely. It is one of my insecurities. I don't want anybody to see my eye. My left eye has a twitch. He's insecure. So by Patrick uh, M, he was asking, uh, he was wanting to set up new headlights. When is a good time before they start yellowing? Okay, so I think what he's wondering is, you wanna make sure and like protect your headlights before they start yellowing. So here's another one. There's all kinds of bad information on the internet about how to repair headlights. By far the worst one that I've ever seen is, and you can Google this, it's hilarious, you take off, like the bug spray. So the active ingredient is in off is something called DEET. DEET actually melts plastic. So if you off your headlights, part of the instructions are you take a sock because they want something coarse enough that you can wipe all of your melted plastic off of your headlights. Oh, that sounds horrible. Another one that I see a lot is people will take a lot of time to restore their headlights, and some people are really good at it, but four months later it comes right back. The key is some sort of a ceramic coating. Makes sense. So Brad was asking if the, um, the water quality affects in any way when you Brad, that is money. That is a great question, Brad. Um, yes is the answer. Water quality is crucial. What you're getting a shot of right now, these are monstrous deionization tanks. You can do something like this at home. It doesn't have to be industrial like ours. Water quality is huge. It's the difference between taking 40 minutes to properly dry it, drive it, dry it again, or being able to install and clean right at your house, like nice and easy, wipe it on and off. Water quality is huge. No well water, stay away from irrigation water, it's reclaimed, water quality is a good one. Cool, um, so that's about it, our last one was, he was serious, where do we get our shirts from? So, where do we get our shirts made? So first off, we have a graphic designer that makes the shirts for us. Then, what we wanna do is, after the shirts are made, we have a printer that we send them off to. Printer is awesome, uh, it is Xeris. I can't even spell it, dude. His name is Gary Zeris. You can find him on Facebook. Oh, oh, I'm getting, you'll, it'll, it'll be right here. Zeris, Zeris. Dude, you can get in contact with him. He does a great job, very, very reasonable.
You got anything else? That awesome. was it? Um, then from there, prices, how, how about, uh, what's the price of PPF, what's ceramic coating, cool. detailing. Let me give you some quick prices. The least expensive thing we do is $700. It goes way up from there. The possibilities are endless here. Here's the thing I want you to think about. I I'm gonna have Dennis take a walk so you can see what's in the studio just today. Common misconception is that we only do Ferraris and Lamborghinis. When you see what's in the studio just today, you're gonna quickly see. All you have to do is care about your vehicle. It's a fantastic investment. It makes your life easier. You get your weekends back and you always look good. Any other ones? That'd be all. All right, good stuff. Guys, this is the first installment. Now, I'm willing to do whatever you guys want. Ask me a question. I'd love to get you an answer. We'll see you next week in the second rendition of Ask the Empire. Nice work. Back Bye, to work. Hey guys, so that was the video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any more questions whatsoever, we're going to be doing these uh, more frequently, so maybe once a week. Um, so if you have any questions uh, regarding detailing, um, like you just saw, PPF, anything, prices, you can just shoot us uh, down here below. Um, and with that, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you comment, uh, like the video, subscribe, and hit this bell up here uh, so you can get notifications when we post a new video. See you next time.